Hi everyone, this is Alex and I'm going to walk you through what I came up with for Trader Joe's new social media strategy. Just a little bit of background, um, Trader Joe's is a specialty grocery store that was founded in 1958 in California. It was actually named after the founder Joe. Um, as of 2017, they have a little bit over um, 474 stores in 43 states, so that's hitting, you know, a pretty large populace of the United States. And I don't frequent Trader Joe's very often, but from what my friends tell me who love it, they always seem to open stores with terrible parking lots. Um, so that just seems to be like a little quirk that they have. A little look into Trader Joe's customer demographics. So the age group that primarily shops at Trader Joe's is between the ages of 25 to 44. 36% of them shop on the weekends, with most of them being either Asian or Caucasian in ethnicity, with a high annual income comparatively for, uh, from 100000 to 125000 a year. So we're going to take a quick look at what Trader Joe's currently has on social media. So they do have a Facebook page. Um, currently it is inactive and they don't have any um, posts uh, or ads that are currently running. Um, and the most important thing about this is that they do have a bunch of likes, but they have no community management. So when you go and you look at the recommended buy and the reviews, um, people can be posting positive things, negative things, questions, and nobody's there to sort of um, act on the behalf of the company and sort of uh, you know, give the answers and or manage, you know, adverse events. I also found that they have this Twitter page and I think that it's theirs based on the fact that it says official, even though it isn't verified. So it doesn't have a lot of followers there. Um, and they only have one post, which is a share of a BuzzFeed article that talks about like 23 reasons why Trader Joe's is the best grocery store. So it seems like they tried to do something there with social to get involved, but it didn't really work out. Um, they do have an Instagram, which is their best performing platform with a little bit over 1.1 million followers, which is great. Um, the page is heavily product focused, supplemented by some recipes that they add in the comments section. And I noticed that most of it, if not all, was just their product photography. So this is all corporate, um, so no curated or user generated content. So I wanted to take a quick look at the competitors to show basically what Trader Joe's is missing out on. Their main and number one competitor, Whole Foods, is super active on social media and they have a huge following. Um, on their Facebook, they like to post anything from videos to talking about events, while their Instagram is mostly curated content from the people that buy um, their products, which is really great. Um, on their Twitter, they have a unique uh, hashtag called Delish Deals, where they really provide value with timely and economical coupons and special offers because, you know, when you're scrolling through your feed, um, if something pops up on your way to the grocery store, then you're more likely to, you know, look out for that item then you know if you were to see something on Facebook Twitter provides you with those real-time sorts of um, ads and information and Whole Foods approach to food packaging and communications with their customers is really modern they seem to be really with it and because of that they've been able to sort of um, make a little community for themselves which is totally awesome the next competitor that I wanted to take a look at is more of a local competitor. Um, Trader Joe's and Wegmans has around the same number of stores in New Jersey, and I could say that um, with their products and that sort of quirkiness and global um, lens that they have about food, that they're around like the same um, sort of a shtick. Um, so Wegmans is most active on Twitter, and it's there that they're really heavily focused on community, like giving back to the community, opening of stores, um, families, and engaging with other brands and media sources. So if somebody writes a article, an article about Wegmans, they'll probably like it, share it, interact with it, which is great because it shows that they're um, sort of reacting and not just acting. Um, and contrary to Trader Joe's, Wegmans is a one-stop shop that um, where you can buy paper products and things like that that you can't necessarily find um, at Trader Joe's. So it's basically challenging Trader Joe's with the diverse product offering and high-quality um, uh, products that they have. 
So for me, I believe that social that Trader Joe's social media objective should be to create an online person presence that creates or sorry, let me start that over again. Trader Joe's social media objective should be to create an online presence that celebrates culture, community, and uniqueness through food. Um, I took a look at sort of what their target audience should be, and based off of those demographics that I was mentioning before, they should be really trying to hit that 25 to 44 um, millennial, if you will, um, audience. Target by ethnicity if you can. Um, the people that would be most um, into their... Um, Offerings have an advanced college degree, they're creative, and they're middle to upper class, and the majority of the customers actually do not have children. Um, and that's really interesting because Trader Joe's as a whole brand is sort of playful and childlike. Um, the psychographics are, they're intelligent and adventurous, they maintain their health through exercise, they enjoy finding bargains, but when shopping off-brand, it's important not to sacrifice that quality. So they're basically looking for things that are affordable, but things that are high in quality so they're not missing out. A lot of the pain points that they have is that they don't have a lot of time to spend shopping. So whenever they do go out, they have, um, you know, a, an, a very large intent that they have to fill. Um, the foods that they get need to be easy to prepare because again they don't have a lot of time. Trader Joe's isn't a one-stop shop so Trader Joe's is a store that they really have to make an effort to go to and they are concerned with that uh, with the fact that they can't interact with Trader Joe's online with questions or concerns. Um, from there I sort of created some content pillars uh, slash main messaging points that they should sort of focus on for content. Um, so the first one is health and wealth. Um, and these posts would be promoting affordable, healthy eating as that's something that's a large concern within this community. Um, and it shows that Trader Joe's is sort of looking out for their customers' health and financial well-being. So these types of posts would be, you know, heavily focused around healthy product features, video recipe tutorials, and sort of ways to flex your dollar when you're grocery shopping. The second um, content pillar I think would be really, really great for Trader Joe's is sort of roam the globe. Because Trader Joe's already features um, a product offering that is diverse and sort of interesting, um, these posts could sort of serve to um, be introductions, like how to cook it, how to pair it, when it's in season, um, and this would really work to educate and explore, um, showing the audience what's new and how, what to do with it. So for this, I'm sort of envisioning informative carousel posts, features of different countries, and that could be really great on uh, platforms like Insta Stories, live streams, and any platform that is heavily visual. And then the last sort of content pillar pillar I created was at your table. Um, currently, Trader Joe's doesn't curate any content. Um, and I feel like it's important to show what your customers and your fans are actually doing. Um, this is really interesting because Trader Joe's actually has, um, I guess, some secondary support on social media through this handle called Trader Joe's list and it's this one woman who just really loves Trader Joe's so much that um, she's created a huge following on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest of what she buys at um, Trader Joe's every time that she goes and she's been sort of able to supplement um, Trader Joe's lack of social media so I highly recommend you check her out and see what she's been doing but um, Trader Joe's should really look at curating and creating a community because uh, this Trader Joe's list account has sort of has sort of done that already. So it's important to take that back to your corporate channel and show that you really do care about the community that um, purchases your products and supports you. Uh, and these would be customer photography, photos, videos, helpful tricks and hacks, and family recipes. The best social media channels to use for Trader Joe would be Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, Instagram food content is extremely popular. Um, if you go into uh, Instagram on the trending page, you'll usually see food, um, recipes, hand-to-pan videos. Um, many people follow brands that they love on Instagram because the visual content is uh, not exactly seen as an ad. It's more seen as, uh, you know, content, what's new. Um, so it's super easy and Instagram ads have a higher ROI and they're cheaper than Facebook. So if Trader Joe's 
did want to explore Instagram a little bit more and doesn't exactly want to commit that much budget, that's the best way to do it. They should be on Facebook because they have the largest active user base out of all of social media platforms. Um, this could act more as like the most official form of social media with corporate announcements, new location openings, um, etc., things like that. And then tr Twitter is going to be really great for um, timely or holiday content like National Ice Cream Day, right? You would be able to do like a quick post there um, and sort of get people in to buy those special items. Um, many people resort to Twitter for customer service, so being able to create that rapport with your customers there. And it's a way to boost traffic to the website, specifically to the recipe section. So if somebody sees a recipe that they think would be interesting on Twitter, they are more likely to to click through um, there versus a Facebook ad. In terms of a brand personality, we all sort of understand that Trader Joe's is this quirky, neighborly, positive, approachable brand. They seem really, you know, down to earth. And when it comes down to the brand voice, I feel that Trader Joe's voice should emulate that of a friendly neighbor. They should have their friend's best interest in mind and is always ready to provide a recommendation or helpful tidbit. Their global perspective and respect for diverse cultures make them interesting and inclusive. Trader Joe's is not afraid to be a little weird, showing that others, that uniqueness paired with authenticity and quality creates loyal customers. And I feel that really comes back to, you know, what the founder's vision was for this company. He wanted to be able to bring the, um, the unknown, the diverse, um, the hard to get um, to the people because they weren't able to regularly, you know, find these things within their local market. So I feel like it's important to sort of show that positivity, but also keep in mind that this was really a business that started up because they wanted to bring something different to the game. To sum it all up, um, Trader Joe's goal is to create an online presence that celebrates culture, community, and uniqueness through food. Um, their large millennial following is always looking for new items to try, recipes to follow, and ways to save on groceries because they can get so expensive. By combining their inherently fun brand and social media, Trader Joe's will be able to enjoy increased customer engagement and awareness. This improved social strategy will allow the specialty grocer to contend with direct and local competitors like Whole Foods and Wegmans, who already have a pretty active follower um, count on their social media platforms. So... Thank you for listening to my abridged version of um, Trader Joe's social media strategy. If you like, if you liked my uh, presentation, um, please like, comment, and share on this post if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.